All right, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I, Gigi's got a great comment here. I want to kind of go over it a little bit. Uh, she uh, originated from the, the Jody Arias video. Okay, and um, first she says, uh, I agree. Cherry, pick, uh, cherry picking versus a problem we see a lot of. I watched the full documentary on BitChute after watching your video. I had no idea the outcome, and I'm so glad she didn't convince the jury yeah you know it's interesting uh because this woman she uh yeah you, know, you know not all, i get you know i guess not only is she a murderer but she's also a liar right imagine that yeah. some sometimes that's hard to uh, wrap your head around i guess but people that murder they actually they're also liars 100 percent of the time right okay now, then she follows up. What do you think of this? Uh, Revelation 6, verse 2. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. Could bow mean rainbow as it does in the Old Testament? Is this LQBG, LB, uh, whatever or is it the rainbow that here in the UK corona came with in fact if you type corona rainbow you will see it was the symbol of corona which incidentally means crown yeah okay so I I don't know all about that you know, the, those letters there the homos just call them homos I'm when I was a kid growing up in the 70s we had a word for them and if I say that word today, somebody's going to get awfully mad at me, which is weird. But So, to keep the peace, I won't say what that word is, but we had one word. If that's not a word. There is a bunch of letters I can't, I don't even know. All right, so, anyways, regardless, uh, let's let's take a look at, at Revelation 6, okay? Because this is interesting, and <clears throat> if you know like somebody like John Hagee, John Hagee's uh, one of these guys. He he preaches that the the white horse in Revelation six is the Antichrist. He also preaches that there is no Bible anywhere on Earth, and he, you'll see him oftentimes uh, point to Greek and Hebrew languages, but he won't never point to a Bible, right? And he'll also say that people living in the Middle East that full on reject Jesus Christ. Are God's holy people so you got to be real cautious when you listen to somebody like that all right now uh, my advice for Revelation 6 pretty simple really I, I would hope that just read it in context because there's a picture that's being painted here all right and so in order to see this part of the painting you got to understand the whole painting okay the whole picture <clears throat> all right so let's go over this real quick okay uh, and it's really the first two verses that's going to be all the information we have on the white horse in this particular section and i saw when the lamb opened one of the seals and i heard as it were the noise of thunder one of the four beasts saying come and see and i saw and behold a white horse and he that sat on him had a bow and a crown was given unto him and he went forth conquering and to conquer all right so I would refer to I would say this is a parallel uh, to John 1 1 now if you if you don't like this just hang in there okay just hang in there and hear the whole matter. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Okay, so let us try to understand here. I'm not. I'm going to encourage you to read six, seven, and eight. Read the whole thing and just get the picture that's being painted here. Okay, the first horse, the white horse, is Jesus. The second horse is sin. All right, and power was. Where is this at? I apologize here the red the ho the red horse represents sin and he takes peace from the earth right and then the third horse represents justice 
okay? And then the fourth horse or the pale horse represents the price of sin, which is death. Okay, and then the fifth seal, because these are four, these are the, the first four, the four horsemen are the first four seals being opened, okay? And the fifth seal is salvation given to, you know, God's people, right? And then the sixth seal is the return of the Lord Jesus Christ, okay, when he comes in the clouds of heaven. And then the seventh seal is the wrath of God being poured upon the wicked. All right, now, you know, I think you have to go uh, all the way to verse or uh, chapter 8, right? Okay, but in context, the whole picture that's being painted here, we've got in the beginning God, right? And so this is that, this is that assurance that the white horse is in front of it all, which is Jesus Christ. He's ahead of the pack of all the horses. He's going to conquer. All right. He set forth to conquer, uh, conquering and to conquer. And he ultimately conquered death. He's going to, he's overcome the world. Right. And then he's um, rebuilt the body uh, so that we can have everlasting life. Okay. Now, I don't know what these guys that are teaching. This is the Antichrist are thinking. I mean, it sells books. I, I get that. Uh, they make a lot of money. But they're, it's not true. I, I don't see how you could preach the white horse being the Antichrist unless, of course, you are you, yourself Antichrist. All right, in Revelation 19, And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he does judge and make war. So if he's judging and making war, he's conquering. And he conquers. Right? Uh, so, and, and coincidentally, I, I've i read, uh, you know, Zechariah a number of times. I don't think there's a correlation here between these horses. Now, if it could be explained to me, if it could be taught in a way, I would enjoy that, but I don't see the connection. I can't teach. Let me put it that way. I can't teach a uh, correlation between that. So who cares? All right. So in then Revelation 14, of course, and the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. So uh, this uh, the white horse is always represented uh, purity, if you will. All right. So if it's the white horse, it was clearly Jesus in Revelation 19. Uh very least it can't be a stretch to think that jesus is the white horse in revelation 6 and like i said i don't I really to be quite frank i don't know what other people are teaching uh on this it doesn't matter to me what other people are teaching it's what the bible says so it is, we are getting the first seal that's being opened and this is clearly in my opinion this is not it can't not be the wrath of God after Jesus comes. Okay, this has to be a big, bigger picture of uh, sort of the history of man, if you will, the history of the world. Where in the very beginning, just like we read in John 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All right, so we get the first seal that's being opened, and that's God. Okay, and so we can put our trust and our hope and our faith in Jesus Christ, who has come conquering and to conquer and who uh, has overcome everything, and he will, uh, he makes everything new. So, to me, that's how I look at it, and I would like to uh, invite you all to share your thoughts and ideas on the white horse of Revelation 6. To say this is the Antichrist is just to sell another book, and it's not, I don't see any way, that you could preach this and it be logical. Um, because you, you're basically saying in the beginning was the Antichrist. <laughs> I got an issue with that. It doesn't set right with me. So anyways, that's my thoughts. Appreciate the comment, GG. Talk to you all later.